I'm here. This is jazzygraphs.com. We're here with Terry Sokaju and Ryan Parsons. Ryan's wrapping Terry up right now. Um, I assume you do some sparring, correct? Yeah, sparring day. Sparring day. So, Terry, how did you, uh, by the way, congratulations on your huge win and big splash in the world of MMA against uh, Antonio Rogerio Nogueira at Pride 33, the second coming in Las Vegas. When you first heard that fight, that you were taking that fight, what were you thinking? Like, wow, this is like a big name guy, major fighter. What was going through your head? Uh, I was really excited, and uh, I knew going through hard training, I would be able to beat him. And that process led to me through a horrible training camp and uh, horrible it was a, uh, torture, pretty much. And I was able, I was able to beat him. Brian, you want to tell us a little bit of how you torture him? You know, we have an amazing camp here. This is probably the best place on the planet to train right now. Here and we're talking about the Team Quest facility? Yeah. In Marietta, the, California? Vinicius, our jiu-jitsu instructor, is a three-time world champion and prepared Terry for anything that he was going to see on the ground. And we watched a lot of film of Rosario and knew that if Terry came to fight, then it was certainly a very winnable fight for him, even though he was a huge underdog. Were you training specifically for the potential of maybe knocking him out? Thinking maybe? I mean, I know he's a tough guy. Before Saturday, he's never been knocked out. So I knew going there would be that for at least 15 minutes and be a, a war. But, you know, fortunately for him, I was able to finish it up. And you surprised yourself when you did it? A little bit, but I worked hard, so I wasn't that surprised. But, oh. yeah. If you want the 25 seconds of the fight, it was 23, quick. man. 23 is exactly what we worked on, and it was to use his kicks to negate some of Nagara's reach and boxing skills, and to punch his way into the clinch and take him down. And that punch just happened to land, and that's how it went. Perfect. Yeah. What's uh, what's next for you? What's well, next for me? I'm training, going for a doctor pass. Someone tell me. Who I'm fighting next, but pretty much I'm getting ready because I fight from seventh in Japan, and so far I don't know who I'm fighting. But seventh of what month? April next. Month. April? Okay, April seventh. You're fighting in Japan. Dr. Parsons, what's the prescription? Who's he fighting next month? Depends. Uh, we have a few names thrown out there, but uh, nothing. The Jazz? Nothing. Said. Can't can't say anything. Nothing's been signed. Okay. Yet, so. But now we we'll keep it quiet. Yeah. For for they've asked Terry to fight on. Uh, they've asked Sokaju to fight on uh, on the April show, April eighth. The day. How did you bend in seven times? Have you been to Japan before? No, I haven't yet. Looking forward to the trip? Oh, yeah. Come back a winner? Of course, come on now. That's it, Dr. Parson, next to me. Oh. Feed the crap. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maroon. Here. I had to swim hard, man. <laughs> How'd you? I, actually, I came out here for judo. Uh, Vinny Rapper. But then uh, I got hooked up with Team Quest now. How'd you get hooked up with Team Quest? Um, Dan was trying to get ready for Nakamura and was looking for a judo guy. I happened, he happened to get a hold of me and came up here. Yeah. And how'd you first get into MMA, period? Like, what do you mean, like? Well, you started I mean, like, judo, right? Yeah, I started judo and then I came up with training with Team Quest, helping Dan and Bruno Garner get ready for their fights in Japan. And then we stayed trained and decided to fight too. So, so this is what I want to do? Yes, sir. Okay. Sounds good. Perfect.